And on our top news story for tonight, the virus that hit the small Californian town of Fairfield is starting to spread. Signs of the virus were seen at, at the beginning of, of last month. Uh, already at least 700 were reported to have died in Fairfield and in the general area. Over a thousand people have been reported to have the symptoms of the virus. Scientists have identified the virus and have reported that it has been in the drinking water for some time. So many more have been affected. The virus seems to be airborne too and can spread fast. People already in Vacaville and Vallejo are showing some of the early symptoms. We have here scientist Jeffrey Belliot, the head of the U.S. Science Department, talking about the virus. The virus is extremely dangerous. It muted and can spread to practically anyone. It's estimated to infect almost all California and then some within at least a whole year. We have to deal with this virus as soon as possible. Our scientists have found out found what seems to be a cure. It works very quickly on monkeys and a few people. The only problem is, I hope we can get it to people before problems get any worse, or before others get infected. Our president, Dallas Smith, has apparently found a possible solution to this problem. He says that since Deborah had mostly lived her life in Fairfield, she would be extremely willing to help his cause. He proposed a new bill to today in Congress that said he would deal with our biological problem. He said that he would test it, the shot on a few more people of different races and run it through the scientists to see if there would be any other effects on humans. Then he wants to make the shots mandatory. He insists that the only way that American citizens could be safe from this deadly virus would be if they were given the shots as soon as possible to prevent it from spreading across the world. He knew that this was against the Constitution, so he added to the bill that the Constitution be nullified during the time when mandatory shots were given. He estimated about two to four years may have been needed in order to make enough of the medicine and to deal with possible branches and new subspecies of the virus. Pretty much, he assumed, it would be during his whole presidential term. He trusted the people to keep respecting one another's rights long enough without the law so this biological threat could be solved. We are not able to get any footage of what he told us in a speech, but... We are able to get an audio clip for now. After all, would you want your children to be exposed to this deadly virus, like the many elementary children of Fairfield had some months ago? Even your unborn child could easily be infected due to a mother's neglect. And do you really want to have your child suffer through all of this? Think of the future. We could get rid of this virus with ease. We can get rid of this threat and be strong, healthy Americans of the future. He also added to the bill that there would be a quarantine during the first year, possibly first two years, for a bit going into effect. He explains to ensure that the virus will not spread and other viruses wouldn't come in from other countries. He isn't sure where it originated, but he suspects that poss it's possibly from supplies from China. We'll have information on the bill in a few weeks. This is ABC Channel News. Is that it? Is that it? Well, in other news, I gotta go. Come here, come here, come here, come here. Isn't she cute? Wait a minute, that's my dog. Uh. <laughs> ah, earthquake drill. Three, two, one.
My God! Okay, everyone's gonna clap, okay? Alright. Okay, ready? 